Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's like, fucking, I don't know what in the morning. So in the morning, I don't even have my phone on me. But, I wanna go get, I went to go get water. And, well, ow, my hands. And now, boost, because it won't open. So, I'm venturing down to, uh, the lobby to get another water. Oh, okay. Okay. So, it's night. I just wanted water. And now, his hand, as you can tell, is kind of in bad shape. That's how I'm spending my night. Because my hand hurts like fucking hell. This is the night. Hey guys, so this lighting makes me look like the devil. This look makes me look like the devil. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm in the comedy club. The event's gonna start soon, I think. I hope. Don't know if you guys could even hear me, but shit's gonna go down today. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mid Jagger Express presents my virtual escape! Respect for our performers and those around you. Please don't forget to silence your phones and keep your table conversations to a minimum. Lastly, please, if you plan on taking any photos, please remove the flash. Guys, with that out of the way, are we ready to have a great time yeah. this afternoon? Woo. I know we can make a little bit more noise than that, guys. Are we ready to have a great time this afternoon? Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Miss Juliet Riley. Say keep it rigid, y'all. Keep it rigid. Keep it rigid. Nice. Guys, it's so awesome. I see we got some cameras on right now, y'all. Thank you guys seriously for coming out. Me and Juliet really appreciate it. Thank you to the Irvine Improv here for having us. This is a super cool show. Super intimate, if you couldn't tell. Hopefully you guys already hit up my mom and Aunt Jackie out there to get some merch, dude. Does anybody get any props? I mean, yo, that's so cool. I got to get that real quick. Guys, we got some helmets. Guys, helmets are now loose. We got people about to be playing Eve, guys. Turns out it actually is a real thing. Like, if you got, if we can all link up with the helmets. Like, no joke. We can, it's up to you. You want to play ranked? If you want to die, bro, I'm going to kill you, dude. <laughs> but, guys, uh, for those that didn't get any props, um, they will be now also for auction online. So, for whatever reason you weren't able to get one and you wanted one, uh, we will actually have them available. I see, I, see some, I see some familiar faces out of the crowd. It's good to have you guys here. Um, we're going to jump in. We're going to do uh, basically a bunch of songs from the series. I see some familiar Yo, yeah, this is cool, guys. This is cool. Hey, I see some more people out there. What's up? Yo! All right, I love all y'all. Um, guys, so Juliet's going to be playing some music from uh, My Virtual Escape. As you guys just saw, that was our first episode of the pilot where Isaac finds his virtual reality helmet. Uh, he's now ready to jump into EVE but his demons are still chasing him even in the game. So without further ado, we're gonna roll into Clouds Are Breaking. If you guys know the words, yeah. you guys can say. Yes. Well, no judgment here, guys. Yes. It's a YouTube you event, guys. There's no judgment here. We're all winners. <laughs> <laughs> White rain, 
Perfect silence, Saturday. Perfect timing. Stop listening in my headphones. I stop listening to my soul. White house with a chimney. Let me out. I'm feeling dizzy. I stop listening in my headphones. I stop listening. The antennas punching through from the empire below. Everyone I ever knew telling me I have to open the floodgates. But I break for you like a cloud. You never asked me to. My sunshine climbing through, and my clouds are breaking for you. Digital Escapes is streaming award winner now. Yeah. You got it, guys. guys for making that happen. Um, so as we just saw Isaac's journey, um, his parents' divorce is still haunting him even in the virtual world. Uh, it's something he's still struggling with despite leaving his world behind. You know, it lives inside his mind. So although he can teleport to a new world, the things that um, kind of make him who he is are still with him. You can't run from it no matter how hard you try. Um, we're about to cut because I don't know if you guys remember season one in my virtual skate, we didn't have that many songs. We're cutting straight to the season one finale. Uh, who here remembers the good old Mother Sarah? Yeah. Mother Sarah. Did you guys like Mother Sarah? Was she just annoying to you? Yeah. Was she, she was just kind of there. She was a half and half. She was a good, she was a good person. But uh, we're going to jump right into um, Space in My Head. If this one, if we can get an epic clap going for this, yes, that'd be especially at the sad. end. I'll like, show you when. We get the whole choir know. going? The, yeah. Yeah. Singing. yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. This is one of my favorites. We see what we need to I keep coming back White light in a dark room You're my heart attack I'm not sure if you knew But you broke me back We see what we need to And you keep coming back but I'm not afraid of the clouds anymore Cause I braved the storm that was you So give me space in my head to cross you off your dead to me Lord, please let me start again So when Asking to see me, crying out to the moon. No, but I can't shake the feeling. I got no room for you. You keep asking to see me, crying out to the moon. I'm going to kill somebody, which you don't normally see, uh, especially on YouTube. Um, well, actually, no, somebody's probably done that before for views, but uh. 
Guys, we're about to jump into season two. I'm, I'm just want to do a little poll to you guys. Uh, what season was your favorite? You just shout it out. Yeah. Season two. Season two. Season two. Season two. Oh, who said all of them? You can come up here and give me a hug, bro. That's good. Um, guys, we'll jump right into season two. This is Astronaut. Um, so basically, Isaac's now starting to get his feet wet in VR. He's realizing that like you kind of need these experience points to rank up in the game. Um, so he's just going to hoard a bunch of them. So he goes on a little bender. And uh, also, in, in real life, he's taking care of this elderly woman. Is she in the crowd right now? Hi. Martha. Yeah. Are you? Are you? I'm right, here. I'm right here. Okay. All right. I just wanted to double check. I'm my face. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Um, but yeah, Isaac's taking care of this elderly woman, Martha, who is uh, a little senile. She's kind of, she's dealing with some uh, demons of her own, so there's a, there's a bit of a connection there. Um, but Isaac's still just so obsessed with VR, and he's uh, hooked up with Arachnid, as you saw, Abraham, who, uh, that's who he is in real life. And um, they're going to try and run this game, y'all. We got the, the Jesse, Jesse Pinkman, Walter White business that's going weird. on with XP. I run this game. Run this game. Oh. Guys, without further ado, here's Astronaut. This is one of my favorites. You keep calling over pictures of us inside your wallet still. How does that feel? You see our life in pictures on the backs of your eyes at night. Isn't that? I wrote with a couple of 
videos of each other. Uh, space, astronaut, and don't have doubt. I don't know. I love that one. Like, low-key and high-key, love that one. Oh, uh, guys, so we're going to cut straight to the season two finale, Brothers in Arms. Who liked that episode? That was like, that's in my top three. Um, do you guys have any favorite episodes? Judgment Day? Judgment Day? Break Free. Break Free. Break Free. A lot of stuff in, uh, in season four. Season four is just a train wreck. Absolutely love how, it reminds me of the Psycho series. It's just everything falls apart miserably. Um, so guys, we're going to jump right into Don't Have Doubt. So to catch you guys up to speed, um, basically there's, oh, we didn't get the scene. We saw Solomon a little bit. Hey, what's up? Um, he's a, he's literally our, our mob boss, a proverbial mob boss in game who's like peddling experience points. He's gone on a little business trip where Sexy Mobster John is to take over, which, is this Sexy Mob, is Sexy Mobster John here right now? Like, bro, I love it. Like, we got cosplay. We got Isaac cosplay and, and, and Sexy Mobster John. I feel like things about, you're sitting next to, John's sitting next to Isaac right now. Like, we got to look out for that. Security? After the show. Okay, that's fine. We can get you guys... When we do the gun song, we can have you guys battle on stage. <laughs> For real. Can you take him? Isaac could take Sexy Mops John. You have you got him? He's a, <laughs> uh, but guys, so Sexy Mops John is now taking over the Brotherhood, um, which is not good. Sexy Mops John is completely incapable. He he's a little hot headed, he has no idea how to run this thing properly. Um, so he's going in guns blazing towards Isaac, because Isaac and Abraham were erected are completely, they, they, they just, Isaac got so much XP, granted he was, he was high on some in-game cocaine, but he's, he's, he's running the show right now, so Sexy Mobster John is threatened, also Jinji's been getting beat up, which is not good, unfortunately Jinji could not be here tonight, I don't know if you guys got a notification on your phone yeah, for the video yeah, coming, yeah. yeah, so Rip, Rip Swift, <laughs> he's no longer with Rigid Studios, you guys can watch the video, <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> it, it'll live, it'll yeah, live with all of us. Laugh. Even Juliet doesn't like it. She loves everything. Um, <laughs> guys, I just see that, hear that laugh. It's SpongeBob and Peter Griffin. They had a love child, dude. Yeah. Like no joke. Um, you got it. Oh, uh, you could become him if you want. <laughs> Did anyone get the wrench? You got the wrench? Nice. Yeah. When you start beating people with it, be careful. The one piece comes off randomly. So yeah, it could get lodged in somebody's skull. Oh. <laughs> but Don't Have Doubt takes place where Sexy Mobster John has led the whole brotherhood into certain death. So we're about to see a lot of brothers die. This is one of my favorite music videos. Uh, it was absolutely insane to shoot. Um, there was like literally 15 of us on set. It was like snowing and raining at the same time. Um, just beautiful. And the drone shots are killer. But um, also, we have Elijah, uh, who's played by Paul Marks, who's literally trying to snipe Arachnid because the Overlord of God has instructed him to do so. Um, so, things are getting crazy. Without further ado, let's give it up for uh, Don't Have Doubt. Yeah, sing along, <laughs> Nobody sees me, do I even exist? And if nobody needs me, do I know what needing is? I'm losing ground, I'm losing ground. I spent most of the winter trying to write myself clean. Oh, I spend most of my days now blindly numbing the pain. I'm losing ground. I'm losing ground. I don't know if I'll keep any sound from getting in. If I drunk you out, if I
alone Oh, me, myself, and my own thoughts Could resurrect bodies from other tombstones Regret, regret, my familiar bread I can feel the ghost creeping I'm losing it Whatever it is Unfortunately, we don't get to see that. I wanted to rewatch the series. I want to rewatch the series right now. I'd say, can we like lock? Can we just lock this place down for like 24 hours? <laughs> Did you guys binge that? Would you guys down to binge? Yeah. Just hang out. Yeah. That's some good content right there. Yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, good to see you again. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that on my system. Um, guys, we're jumping into season three now, which is crucifixion, where the climax of the series takes place. Literally, everybody gets crucified. The series. Um, we're going to jump in to give up the fight. Uh, we got to see our farming uh, cameo with Nancy and Anita. Um, you guys you guys all watch the Psycho series, of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, so that was a cool cameo to get them involved, but literally, uh, Sexy Mobster John it was, it was kind of down for the count, but um, he's on borrowed time. Nope, I'm sorry. Your, your character's going to die soon. <laughs> There's no way he's going to last. I'm forgetting most okay, of the brothers. Guys. I think you just spoiled the whole series. Solomon's on fire right now. He's gonna get. Oh yeah, he's uh, things are gonna throw down, guys. Um, yeah, I think Julia brought up an interesting point. I think that is the ultimate escape. Is done. Interesting, guys. So happy. There's so many happy songs. I love this. This, this series is a comedy, and it's like it's a bright. All, actually, this one's up tempo. This is it the top is. Mix of so if you guys want to, I remember. Like, I remember the West Nyack show. We had people. Yeah, dancing. is anyone like an expert dancer? I don't. Wants to come up here and do. Uh, I don't, last time we did that though, it was it was it was, it was insane. It was kind of bad. Yeah. It was insane. No one was good. They said they were good. I had to go. Me and Swift were dancing to that. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Yeah, but all right, guys, let's give it. Let's give up the fight right now. When I first saw you, I knew your poker straight face, I sharpened my blades. Think no one understands you and when the lights fade. Bits of your rage, you keep me at bay in the way you say. We will keep in touch, thank you very much. 
She will take your name, she'll take everything But I see you, you see I've been put through the ring, almost died Got a grip and came out the other side And I know it's easier to hide Forgetting the fear to shake your mind And I've seen the ruins, misty out Met my demons and lived where they reside So you think you're doing what is right You'll see clearer if you put down your guns And give up the fight I'm always loving harder It's never been enough I guess it's my drug You crafted perfect armor But let it come undone Don't let yourself run Say it to my face Don't say you need safe You'll still get away Some things never change I give anything I give anything for one more day To watch you leave I've been put through the ringer Almost I Got a grip and came out the other side I know it's easier to hide Forgetting the fear to shake your mind And I see the ruins misty eye If my demons and lips where they reside So you think you're doing what is right You'll see clearer if you put down your guns And give up the fight Yourself in like Harry Potter or something, or like you're putting yourself into like, has anyone have a dream where you're in a video game before? Has anyone had that? What game were you in? Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Was it like a good dream or were you like dying endlessly? You were Resnoff! Yo, that's sick. You had, you had a dream that you were in a video game? I was in Alien Isolation. Well, that was probably terrifying. He doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to go there. Anyone else have one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So is MVE. <laughs> so, I think it was inspired off of MVE. Oh. Like multiple layers. Yeah. I legit had a dream not too long ago where I was like taking off different helmets and it was like I was rewaking a different dream. So, oh my gosh. So you were trapped. You were trapped in a dream but in but VR. One minute I'm in like freaking Hyrule and then the next minute I'm like freaking in a battle zone in the freaking Colin. Oh my god. <laughs> We need to check you in somewhere, yeah. We get, we get, dude, that's insane. Anybody else have anything that was like remote? Yeah. Infamous? Yeah. Were you like super powered and stuff? You were, oh my god, that's so morbid. You had one? ODST. ODST? Oh, you were dropping in. That's pretty sick. 
I have Halo dreams too. I don't know if that's health. I think that means like I'm more, I'm more obsessed with the game or something. But so is Isaac. Um, so as you saw, like Isaac still gets flashbacks of what happened in uh, the big battlefield and when don't have doubt play. John sex him out with John perpetually chasing Isaac. I mean he had gotten shot in the game and he feels that it transcends into real life. And as you guys know just from playing any video games and just the experiences in whatever fictional realm, it is getting into your brain, so therefore it affects reality, so everything kind of bleeds through. Uh, we're about to go into one of my favorite songs, Worried Away. Um, I just love the shots of Great Aunt Martha. Was that your actual hair, Aunt Jackie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I want a spin-off series with just Great Aunt Martha. Can we make that happen? Can we do, doesn't that sound great? Right? I don't know what happens. She's like, oh, I chewed my food today. Uh, that's one episode. Um, but also, like, as you guys saw in Don't Have Doubt, uh, Mary 2, uh, I don't know what your guys' preference was for that character. Like, did you guys like Mary 2? Was it indifferent? Or... Yeah, I felt nice on her life. Yeah, I think you could, like, sympathize with her towards the end, but she got diagnosed with cancer, and she's also pregnant with Isaac's, um, hopefully, maybe, a sister? But that sister, yeah, we haven't talked about the sister yet. I'm not ready for the sister right. stuff yet, personally. We're, right, we're almost there to that kind Songs of reveal. Songs just get progressively sadder. Right, right. Can we just get to my turn where it's like, No. <laughs> but guys, we're about to jump into Worried Away. Take it away, Julia. But don't worry. <laughs> so carefree it comes so easily so charismatic you don't understand how I could be so panic melodramatic if I'm not scared I'm not prepared it's safer in the lines inside I've always been afraid and always been okay Give me one perfect day, I'll just worry it away Cause if I lose my fears, I lose control Oh, oh, you say I'm just restless Blame my defenses, they got me this far I know each what if and how it's gonna happen before I why do I put my mind before my heart? I've made every mistake. I have crushed every pain. If I just stay afraid, I can worry it away. Cause if I lose my fears, I lose control. Oh, oh, I've always been afraid. And always been okay. Give me one perfect day. I'll just worry it away And if I found a new star I won't worry it away The world is closing in around me Replay it over and over again Change the filter on the memory Make up my own happy ending I'll just worry it away. What if I lose my fears? I win. I've always been afraid and always been okay. Give me one perfect day. I'll just worry it away. Now that I found this new star, I won't worry it away. Now that. about my life <laughs> and anxiety and Jesse heard it and was like, 
actually Jesus? everyone else in the series is going through the same thing, so it just worked out really well. It's a great uh, suspense building song, because this episode is very much leading towards this pivotal well. Um, here we go. Don't cry. Don't cry yet. We'll yeah, save it for Lighthouse. <laughs> And at the end of season two, you said, come on, Martha, come on back to the Calder residence. We want you to live. We felt bad for you. And then she goes and kills Mary, too, guys. If you guys would have just let, if you would have just let her die in the bathtub, we could have still had Mary, too, for a couple more episodes or something. If you think, Dang. If you think about it, yes. my virtual escape. 
just shows how cold-blooded killers your entire audience is. 100%. 100%. That was the, that was the, I wanted everybody, similar to like, I wanted Psycho Kid, everyone to relate to Psycho Kid and be like, Yeah, Jesse, kill your dad! Come on! Like, you guys want him to kill somebody! Holy crap! It was the same way with, with my virtual escape. It's like, we want everybody to be like, yeah, go, go kill the arachnid in the end. Yeah, we got a question. Let's do it. Why not? Oh, I see what you're saying. Exactly, man. Exactly. There's only one way this goes. You can't turn back. Well, actually, the time travel series is next, but we'll, we'll get into that. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, you never know. Oh, God. Holy snap. Butthole snap. All right. <laughs> guys, we're about to jump into the lighthouse, so I hope you got, you got some napkins. Everyone got some napkins? If not, you got some, some merch that you can blow, blow snot on. <laughs> You ready? Just, you ready? Are there any happy songs on this show? Yeah, no, it, it's sad. This is a sad one. Yeah. It's very sad. It's, yeah. <laughs> this is a rain right out of my depression. So. I'm gonna try not to cry. Guys, the lighthouse reveals uh, Isaac's sister. Isaac did have a sister. Uh, you can see every episode, there's like hints to it uh, ever since the beginning, even with Uneve and Eve is a thing. Eve is a little girl, and uh, we're about to see her. I love her. Gosh. She's like my real set. I miss her. Don't cry. I know. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. I'll cry in a bit. Alright. <laughs> Enjoy your lighthouse, guys. I'll be gone. See ya. This is my wish. I want my sister back. I love the kill a little girl.
She's so good. It's great. If you guys need her for your series, let me know. Um, so let's get to take a little break. Um, in the meantime, is there, is there a Brian Spitz? Is there Brian Spitz in the crowd? There he is. Hey! Give it up for Brian Spitz, guys. Um, we just, I wanted to do a, a thank you to this guy because uh, every single one of my episodes of My Virtual Escape got demonetized. I lost so much money producing this series if it wasn't for Storyfire. Um, so this was the first Storyfire exclusive series, and I just wanted to bring Brian up, because uh, Storyfire has a really cool ability right now that's available to you guys. First video series application is going down. You guys probably know about that. You've probably seen it, right? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody submitting? Who's got their, who's got their application in? We got a few, yeah. Nice, nice. November 5th is the cutoff. You could be the next video I'm, series. I'm on the set. Don't think it. You're thinking about it. What's Jump over to fans, bro. Jump. I'm telling you, the guys, the first video series that get the green light on the next round could be the next virtual escape. So, guys, I would recommend getting them in now. We've got, uh, what else we got? We got a Halloween competition coming yeah. out this week. Halloween stories, those will be written. Get them in, get them can, in. Can we talk about that one feature that's coming? Oh, Knockout. Who liked Knockout? Knockout's Remember coming knockout? back. Remember Knockout's that one? Knockout's coming back. With a twist. With a twist. Big twist. Um... What else we got? We got video. We got Blaze. Who's getting on the Blaze? Jumping in. Who's the top Blazer? Who's on a leaderboard right now? Anybody here on a leaderboard? Come on. Come I on. Wish. I wish. <laughs> yeah. um, but I just want to say congrats to Jesse again for the streaming last night. Thanks, man. Best director. I mean, come on. Yes. We got one more to go, maybe, tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed. And again, uh, Julia, wherever you are, breaks my heart up here. Oh. Did you cry a little bit? A little bit. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this back. Right, take this back. Yeah, yeah, exactly, guys. Literally, when I when I won the streaming last night, I went off on YouTube. I was literally like, "Who here has been demonetized?" Literally, everybody. It's like crickets in the crowd because everybody's afraid to go against YouTube. It's like, well, they pay our checks. <laughs> but guys, literally after the show, after the streamies aired, every creator and their mom came up to me. He's like, "Yo, bro, nobody's doing this." You need it. We got so many creators coming out. We, there's so many things I can't say right now, but I'm telling you, for all you guys that are my virtual escape fans, that clearly like this series on a personal level to where it's like, yo, I would love to be a part of that, or I would love to do something like that, start dipping into Storyfire. I know it's like mostly right now, but do the video series application. I'm telling you guys, we'll help you make the series. We can, we can be in communication. I'm telling you, you wanna be early on this platform, because it's about to be crazy, guys. Probably. Yeah, we got a question right here. Definitely. If you got like a short film or something that's a one-off, just kind of like say that in the application when you go through. Yeah, man. What's that? What's that? Put a trailer out. Put a trailer. Yeah, the trailer. We're definitely looking for trailers. It really validates the the synopsis or the, the summary of the series. Yeah. You start making some movies. Start making. Yeah, man. Might be making some stuff. You, know, you might be onto my tricks right now. Um, but guys, uh, when Julia comes back, I just want to say something about like we're skipping the season three finale, which I think that sticks out in a lot of people's heads. Solomon got, a, got a, I'd say her throat slit, because as we didn't get to see, Solomon was revealed to be, Big Bad Mobster, you know, the Big Bad Mob Boss is actually a little, like, 12-year-old girl playing as that character. So we got to see Solomon's throat get slit, Rebecca, Isaac's infatuation got shot in the head, so we lost a few characters. Jesus got just literally beat bloody with a fire poker. The fire poker is just the weapon of choice right now. Oh, what happened? Long bags died. Long bags died. Shout out to Long Bags. The hero we didn't know we thought even was a hero at all. 
We still got Noah. We got, we got some homies left in the series. Uh, we're about to be jumping into season four, um, which is my personal favorite, guys. Um, is, is, is there any favorite characters here? Because when Rebecca, when Rebecca died, I was, I was heartbroken. Solomon, both of those two. Beloved. Yeah, we got some... Aaron, Aaron. Aaron Andrews? He was all talk. Got the neck snapped. Yeah, yeah, you guys can just shout. Malachi? Malachi, nice. I wish he could be here right now. He was crazy. <laughs> Rebecca, nice. Shout out. Adam. Adam, Adam's here. Dom. Dom, where you at, bro? Dom, so, yo, Dom, are you the next MJ and Cameraman? Oh, I plead the fifth. So Dom's filming right now, but yeah, uh, he's just a bot, guys. He's not actually real quick. He's not here right now. Um, but guys, we're going to jump right into season four. Uh, we're, we're, we're skipping wreck. Uh, we're going to jump right into someone else's life where Isaac wants to track down Rebecca in real life. There's too many songs in this. There's a lot. Of, you did a really good sound. Can we just give it up for Juliet Riley, who's just like killing it right now? I don't know how she's doing it. <laughs> guys, someone else's life. There's another sad one. They're, they're all sad, but... Yeah, they are. Take it away. <laughs> Of Thrones, man, everyone's dying. 
Guys, we're going we're to change the spirits up in here. We're going to jump into the gun. Last time, the New York show, we had we had Swift and Dom literally battling each other to the death. That like, was really ugly. People got, people got <laughs> hurt. <laughs> yeah. like, like, Unsafe. Like, yeah, like blood was spilled. Like we had to have the, the janitor come out and mop some blood up. Um, yeah, we got questions, right? Uh, sure. So pretty much at this point, all the brother brotherhood is dead. Pretty much everybody's passed. Yeah, it was interesting. To note that just like seeing Isaac walk through Rebecca's house in real life, that like, oh dang, this this girl had kids, so she was a single mother and kind of escaping her life through VR just as much as Solomon, the little girl, was escaping her life because her parents were abusive, so she wanted to be a big bad mob boss in control, just as much as Isaac escaping his little sister demon. So it's interesting how everybody has their reasons to want to escape and uh, play virtual reality. But there is a remaining member of the Brotherhood who would be Gingy, um, who we're about to see him square off with the like kind of mercenary for hire, Dom, or Adam, that got jumped in. Yeah, we got a random question. Let's go for it, man. Um, I, don't, I'm, I don't know if you uh, said it before, but what was the original idea of how you got uh, MVE? So MVE, it's crazy how it evolved. It literally started of like, okay, Psycho Series ended. A lot of fans reached out and like, yo, my dad's like Psycho Dad. I'm like, you don't say. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of dads. Or, you know, some people were like, yo, my mom's like, straight insane and she takes away my stuff and like does all this stuff that's like completely irrational because she's dealing with crap but i was like what's the next series that i feel like would speak true to the fans that would help them out like what i could tell a story have fun with it but then also helps people in the process and i know so many people are dealing with depression some kind of drug addiction or they lost somebody and that's what mbe started as it was like what is a show that I can help people, and I knew everyone was into gaming, because it was like, Second Dad's breaking Xboxes and video games and stuff, so I knew a lot of my fans were gamers. So I was like, okay, what's the next iteration of gaming? It's VR, and then also what can help people, and that's kind of like telling a story about grief, and then it just was like, it took a year, like a year or so, just of constant ideas over time. Um, but if you guys ever have any questions about the creative process or whatever, always feel free to hit me in the email or DMs or anything, and I'll always help you guys out. I think I think we got, we got a couple people, we got Lindsay and Nina, two aspiring YouTubers. What's up, guys? Oh, hey. Am, was I helpful? You're very so helpful. Like they are a testament. They're growing tremendously on YouTube right now. If you guys ever have any questions, like I'm completely open book. I'll help you guys grow on YouTube or like create something, whatever. Yeah, Yeggs is another guy. You know, bro. I got your back. So any any like diehard fans, if you guys ever need help, let me know. We're gonna jump right into the gun. It's a little more upbeat. I think yeah. some clapping might go down. Clapping, singing. Singing, no singing, help me. right? We need to get the whole yeah. choir, the junkie choir. <laughs> Take it away. But I need to see you come to bed I don't trust the stars laughing on the inside There's ice in my blood It isn't difficult to imagine you in another's arms Cause I think I love the rush, the chase, the drunken anger on your face I think I love cause I keep you guessing every chance I get Hanging by a thread, I don't need you anymore You're beneath me and I sin, but you're no saint So fire away, fire away Cause I just keep you for the war Couldn't be me if you tried I run this game So fire away, fire away Under the gun Whoa, 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 whoa Oh, under the gun Whoa, whoa, oh, oh You really shouldn't do that No, it's not good for your health of all the men I've slain before, no, I don't trust myself, and you're gonna get burned if you don't hurt, I don't get hurt, no, I just turn it into a smash hit, wanna forfeit, how soon you forget you started it, I don't need you anymore, you're beneath me, and I sin, but you're no saint, so fly away, fly away, cause I just 
Servant, um, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll block the questions. Yeah, hit me. Um, you want to hear a joke? Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be like. Uh, this was one that I heard from like, like back from friends to friends. Oh boy, um, is it inappropriate? I hope so. <laughs> you know what happened when the bomb dropped? No. I ran. Oh, there we go. Does that serve a clap? Hey, yeah, actually, yeah, if you well, had material. Yeah, I don't have any. Yeah, I got on? No. Nothing? I sang Man. Right. Well, it's better than you, me. I, yeah. It's supposed to be funny, right? Uh, not, not, by, not because I'm trying. I think it's like kind of those awkward, Subtle. like, yeah, you know, like, it's funny because he's not trying and it's just embarrassing. What do you guys think? Is it funny? I don't know. I, don't, I can't tell if he's being <laughs> serious or not. <laughs> uh, guys, we're going to jump into Closer to Heaven. Uh, this is like our Harry Potter-esque, like, uh, Harry, Harry and Draco battling right now, doing the dual practice uh, between Isaac and Malachi. Um, I, I wish it was Malachi that came with me to the end. I don't know. Did you guys wish it was Isaac and Malachi battling in the end and not Isaac and Arachnid? I thought like that would have been such a better fight. It would have got really intense, but unfortunately, Ren's gonna cheat. Exactly, Ren's gonna cheat anyway. Like I feel like Malachi would have been a really exactly, dude. There's so much cheating going on. It's not even fair game. Like. It, exactly, dude. Cheaters never win, dude. Um, yeah. So I saw in the BTS that like Tom was supposed to be Malachi, right? Yeah, which is trippy. Would the story have changed at all? Dude? Story would have been the same. It's just that the Malachi character wouldn't. He would have been a little. So in the Devil Inside, we did this video where Tom came in and like with a ski mask on and was like had the family at gunpoint. Does anyone remember that video? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And it was kind of like, what is going on right now? <laughs> But that was literally practice for Tom to see if he could play the kind of loose cannon Malachi character. Um, and he did well, but then it turns out his schedule. So the character would have been similar, but uh, I think Tom would have played a little bit more of a subdued one. It would have been very different, whereas J, J Gamer, Jessica Silla played Malachi. He was like all over. It was in oh, insane. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Is Isaac really Abraham's kid? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Save, save that, yeah. Save that one for the end. Uh, I don't know if I can reveal that. What do you think? Uh, that's right. It, it lines up. I think it, it seems more like that than Joseph. I mean, Joseph and Isaac have some similarities, but I feel like they were acted, yeah. All right, guys. We're going to save the questions. Uh, we're going to jump right into Closer to Heavy, guys. Enjoy. Um, hopefully, Isaac doesn't get shot in the hand here. Damn. Yeah. What if, uh, what if we got some Zool practice now on the still can? Okay, serious. I would rather sing for 10,000 Be alone in a room 
Sunday nights as a little girl fell out a window and died. Um, but you're not crying though. I, um, I'm kind of desensitized to it. Yeah, I kind of had to edit that a hundred times so over. Tough, yeah. Like I need to make sure that when the little girl's skull hits the pavement and the blood comes out oh, and the, the song hits right at that, it's really morbid. But uh, guys, we got two songs left. Jenny was a friend of mine, as well as my turn. And the, yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah, I love these, dude. Um, these two episodes are so, I love these two, because Isaac is officially to Haven, the, the long-awaited place where everything's awesome and great, and it's like white, it's like heaven, but no, it's pitch blackness, uh, pretty much the devil is there, who's the overlord, and he's battling, uh, Isaac is asked to battle Arachnid in a duel, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Isaac has the gold gun, as you guys saw at the end of that uh, music video, that Joseph and Abraham uh, actually created Eve together, and it was kind of like in memoriam of Eve, Isaac's sister, that died. Um, it was kind of an escape for Joseph as well, and Abraham also, because he's somewhat responsible for the death of Eve. Um, I, I, that's, one, that's one of those Martha situations. I don't know, is Abraham at fault for Eve's death or not? Uh, anybody have any thoughts on that? Is Abraham to blame for Eve's death? It's a pretty gray area. Yeah, you got a thought? I'm pretty sure it's Joseph's fault because he did the walking. That's true. You could put the blame on Joseph. Because he, as you think about it, Joseph is the father, and he did, if you remember young Isaac, he left young Isaac with Abraham years ago, and then young Isaac was literally drowned floating in the pool. So, like, you would think Joseph would have learned from that scenario not to leave kids with Abraham because he's just so busy working that he's not focusing on anything else. Um, but guys, we're going to jump into Jay was a friend of mine. Uh, we're going to probably see the fight sequence too a little bit. We're going to let that run so like things are getting a little intense, guys. But uh, this, I just, Jay was a friend of mine, guys. I don't understand it. Like, for those curious about the creative process, I know we had a couple people asking, like, how'd you come up with it? Um, literally everything was guided by this one song by the Killers. Jenny was a friend of mine. I don't know what it was, but listening to that song over and over again, I always pictured, like, these scenes to it. And I didn't know any, everything else around the series, but at least I had this song to drive me and guide me towards creating this. Um, so if you're ever, like, wondering, like, how do you get creative inspiration? Sometimes it's music. Like, whatever your favorite music is, just, like, let it guide you. Or even your favorite movie or show, like... And the Killers inspired a lot of the soundtrack. Definitely. Um, so shout out to them. Because <laughs> they need it, right? Yeah. But guys, here we go. Jay is a friend of mine. Oh, 
you like that so that's literally and then we just did like that was part one and then like part two okay how about you throw this pillow here i'll shoot that gun you grab it's literally just like bsing your way through it like so if you're wondering like that looks a little intense i don't know if i could do it. just bs your way through it that's li that's life advice guys bs your way through it pretend like it's yeah that's it we're doing this uh, like crazy stupid confidence and you you win yeah you ace this question sometimes i love it that that particular sequence like isaac and abraham fighting to the dead that one took, I'd say, maybe around seven hours. So what we did was, it's supposed to take place uh, during the day and then into the night, and we kind of like put, uh, we covered up every single window in the house, so you can't tell. Because like, if you saw Joseph floating in the water in the pool, it's pretty dark, and then Isaac kind of runs. So we started filming that in the day, covered up all the windows, and we just were like, all right, we're just gonna beat, beat the crap out of each other for seven hours. So it was like really intense and grueling, but like, it was so much fun. Um, and that's kind of like how we would block some of our shoots out and do it to where like, okay, can we cover up lighting? Is it indoors? Can we make that happen? Or like sometimes it was like a lot of the stuff at Solomon's house, we're shooting at like four or five in the morning um, just because it's like, that's when everybody's available because we're accommodating like so many work schedules and stuff. Yes. Since the shooting with Solomon was at uh, the, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, the house. Which which house uh, are you? Mother Sarah's house. Right, right. How did you guys film there if they had to sleep? So yeah, there was a few different times. I don't know if you've seen the behind the scenes. I don't know if we captured it, but like we were filming in just like family, friends, and different people's houses, and yeah, like we're trying to operate this schedule where like not everyone's getting paid. So like when it comes to filming your own stuff. <laughs> 
do something very persuasive, and yeah, like, Mrs. Stauber is like trying to sleep while Solomon's getting his throat slit. So we're like, she's like yelling at us, we're like, could you shut up for like two minutes? We just need to get this shot, we've been doing this for seven hours. So it's just like yelling at people and just like, let us do this part. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting twist. So for as long as we've seen the moderator, Archie or Michael, two sides of the same coin, have been very, very rigid in like, yo, this is law. Like, I'm, I'm about doing what's right, justice. But as you watch the series, I mean, as soon as Michael starts to uh, unhinge and he kills Elijah, that was blatantly disobeying the overlord's rule. So you kind of watch Michael start to slip up. Then he gives the golden gun to Solomon, which Solomon then uses to shoot Rebecca. So it's like a slippery soap. But what it was is Archie has... You know, he's got a, a connection with Isaac, you know, it's like a son to him. So he didn't, he knew if the cops came in and saw Isaac with a knife to Abraham's throat, the cops are going to shoot Isaac. They're going to take him out. So Archie was just like, you know what, screw the law, screw just, I, I got to protect what feels like my son. And he killed the cops and then died in the process. Yeah. I remember there was also part in the season three BTS for what you said about like having to like shoot at Solomon's like in the office. When Aunt Melissa wants to get sleep, there's a part where you and Arachnid or were doing like jumping jacks and yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes to keep continuity because we film something, I'd have to go over something like 30 minutes, and then it's time to shoot again. And it's like, all right, we got to pick up where we left off. So it's like, let's do calisthenics real quick to make it yeah. seem like we're all like, <laughs> this is like different ways to kind of get creative. But guys, we're gonna jump into the final song. This is the finale. Uh, my turn. <laughs> it's gonna be, and, and then Juliet can take a rest. But she's killing, guys. Give it a round of applause. Like she is. Awesome. <laughs> Riley, my version of the game, like, my turn is like in parentheses on the side. Um, but guys, here's my turn. This is the end. Uh, the credits are going to roll as we go. And uh, if we have any time, we'll see if we do some questions. It'll do a meeting for you guys. So here's the end. Tier to your break break. <laughs> <laughs> Get so high. 
Come on, yeah. We got some cats with dogs. Come on out here, bro. We don't have everybody, guys. We have a lot of the cats in New York, but we got we got a few survivors. Enjoy it. Come and get on this mix. But we got we got a little squad here. Uh, thank you, guys. This is an awesome series. And special shout out to Amy Rossling who did all these drawings. Super sick. Um, and you guys can check her out on Twitter. She's still done every video I come out with. She's got another drawing. Like some of you guys know her. Um, but we're gonna take a bow. If you guys clap, that'd be sick. <laughs> Guys, it's sad. This is uh, this is the last show for MV. We only did two. Um, we're, we're moving on to bigger, better things. But it's cool to give a last hurrah to a series that meant a lot to us, um, and hopefully it meant a lot to you guys. We're gonna open up to any questions uh, that you guys had, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna start the meet and greet. So just some quickies, yeah, right here. When does MV2 come out? When does MV2 come out? So that's gonna be a much higher production value, and that that'll probably be roughly four years. Uh, but we got a couple of movies to make first. Yeah. Um, in the Devil Inside, the Devil called Isaac his son. Would Correct. that make Eve his daughter? What? Wait, there's post credits? What? Subscribe to Larry's Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, back to your question. <laughs> um, so, if Isaac's the devil's son, yeah, so is Eve the technically devil's the devil's daughter. daughter? So, like, I don't think the devil uh, birthed Isaac. I don't think that was a process. Oh, no. Speaking of which, oh, he's gonna... Get away! Get away from me! I saw it! I saw it! The devil's looming. Oh, he's... Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, Eve is technically not. I think it's kind of an extension. I don't think the devil... I think Eve is too good to potentially be uh, of the devil's descent. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be a good twist when you guys were...